everything, what up, my name is Comet, and I figured I'd record one more video in this sitting before I move on to something else, or sleep, because I should probably sleep. Anyway, welcome back to Bravely Default, we're gonna continue with the main story, and I forgot that the fox was a seller dude. Ah! Party chat! Such sweet sorrow. Hi, bug. How about a nip of breakfast for an old man? Ha! He cooks just fine. Quite. It was nothing especially fancy or out of the ordinary, but it went down fine. I thought it was really good, actually. Likewise, I wonder why we would have wanted you to cook for him, Medea. All alone, out here in the woods, maybe he missed the taste of the big city. Aw, uh, when you put it that way, I feel bad for saying no. What sort of food do you like to cook, Adia? Hmm, I haven't cooked enough to have a specialty or anything, but if I had to pick something... I make a mean jam and butter omelet. Beg your pardon? Or whipped chestnut and sweet potato toast. Uh. Or have you ever tried marshmallow and condensed milk risotto? Uh, no, but it sounds sweet. Painfully so. It really does. Yep, mother and father were left speechless by its amazing deliciousness. I'd be happy to whip some up for you next time. Alright, next time. Sorry, Adia, that's not happening. We have a guest. Hi. Let me, let me just get that out of your range. Don't jump on the desk. If I recall, I have to swing down and around. What did I just tell you not to do? <laughs> Vestment cave. Ha, ah, that makes sense. Yeah. Ugh. What a dank, wretched place. So this is where all the memes go. I can't even apologize for that. There's no reason to. this thread in here? I wouldn't put it past that sage to be pulling our leg. A slippery old fox, that Well. Way. Said the slippery young fox. Hmm. The sage has aided Vestals in their service for at least two generations. Let us trust in him for now. Then we've no reason to stand around debating. Let's press on. Cave crawling, cave crawling. So I'm gonna ignore most of the side stuff that's in this cave because I'll be coming back later, probably to grind. So my main goal will just be get through the cave, do the plot, get out. And maybe get a treasure chest if I happen to pass one by. I see that this was a mistake to go this way. Very well. Moving on. sure what enemy to expect. Could be earth, could be water. It's been a minute since I played this game. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna be fighting. Hell, for all I know, it could be fire. Or grass. There's moss everywhere. I'm in a cave mountain thing. It could be 
a lava death machine. Bug, get out of those. No. No, sir. Oh, yep, there we go, plot. Magic sparkly object, you must be the plot point. Excellent. Don't do it. I see you looking at that stuff. Don't do it. Ah, look there. Is that the rainbow thread? No, it's just a very colorful piece oh, of thread. It's, it's not the rainbow thread, though. I'm shocked we actually found it here. Now, let's collect it and be quit of this place. Yeah, leave it alone. Um, wait. Dun dun dun! A dragon! Very well. I don't have miscellany because I got rid of it, so we're just gonna attack and call it good. Hope it doesn't kill. Get away from myself, Foxy! <laughs> Wow. I wish I knew how much health it had. Seems fairly fast though. It's actually dodging a little bit. Um, uh, Ringabelle, you need you need a little healing there. Oh, shit, I accidentally pressed back before. Uh, no, Fuzzy! Stop that! You have white magic too. Fuzzy! Play with my foot, not with that stuff. Just leave, leave that stuff alone. Ew! Don't bite my foot. Ew. Yay! Healy wheely. Ouch. Come on, guys, you can do it. Kill the dragon. I say death to you, sir. I'm gonna cast heal twice, and then I'm gonna attack with Ring a Bell. Hey, hey, no, 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 sir. He's a good, well behaved boy, I swear. Bugsy, stop that. I know you like Velcro, but stop. It dies this round. Nope, it's not. Well, we're dead. Hey, we're not dead. I know I'm like pushing it, but like. I'm kind of enjoying it. Leave the cords alone, you little shithead. Well, as long as one person survives, I do have that fail save, so... Really? One attack, guys? One attack and it would've died? You couldn't have done that the last four turns ago? What I... Rude! Honestly, these people. Really. Ugh. Well, that was a surprise. No one said anything about it. Oh, belly wubs, belly wubs. Didn't tell us he's awful. That would be lying. 
he didn't lie. How could he put the Vestal in danger? Without her, who would perform the rites? Be calm, Mary. Perhaps this was a trial of sorts. A test of my resolve and skill as Vestal. Regardless, we found what we came for. Let's return yeah, to the Yeah, Eri, calm yo tits, as my brother would say. Okay, I got the sparkly, so I'm gonna leave. The fast way. By beaming up. Thanks, Scotty. Aw, oh, what a sleepy baby. You know, it's rude to lick and then bite and then look again. Aw, oh, but you're such a cute little babby. Up, 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 up. No, stay away from the cords. You're not cute when you're going after the cords. There's a bigger! Hi, bigger! Hello? I see you're playing with a giant pincushion. Ah, back in one piece, are you? Very wow, you did know about the dragon. Then you did know! A word of warning might have helped you, old lech! It's been so long since I set about crafting Vestal Garb. <laughs> I'd completely. Yeah, that dragon's probably as old as you. I believe you were in a hurry? I'll begin straight away. All the haste in the world won't see it done before tomorrow. Make yourselves at home till then. Hmm? <sighs> Agnes? What's the matter? Trouble sleeping? Sir, do you remember this pendant? I've treasured it like a good luck charm since I was a child. Ever since the day you gave it to me. Hmm, that brings me back. Don't do it, you I little remember scoundrel. it well, child. I'm pleased you've held on to it all this while. It gives me strength. Come on, in dark up on times I would pray to it, talk to it, and the stone would lend me courage. Keep it close and keep it safe. Someday it may serve you better still. <sighs> and the other girl? The one who was with me when last I was here. Do you remember her? Oh, little Olivia. Yes. She serves now as the Vestal of Water. Did. Sir, have you heard the water's rotted. Her? Is she safe? The world's oceans began to fester the same day the darkness took the wind crystal. It's the crystal of water that sustains the seas. I fear. I fear the same fate has struck the Temple of Water. Or worse. I need to know if Olivia is safe. But I haven't the means or the time to seek her out. I'm afraid I know no more than you. All I can record. say is that she's not come to this place. I see. Tell me, child, would you care to share what else is on your mind? Got you. Oh. I'm uncertain. Until a few days ago, I lived a hermit's existence, sequestered in the temple, surrounded by acolytes. I knew nothing of the world outside, know nothing of it still. How can I be sure in the face of that ignorance? How can I know that the path I walk is the right one? Hmm. Recent years have seen the people's hearts and minds turn from the crystal orthodoxy. Its practices are all here. but forgotten. It's very red. I don't know if it's your kitten still, teeth. Your they regard teeth. the crystals and the vestals who tend them 
with an innate reverence. Carry out your duty and keep faith, my child. Therein lies the path the Vestals show to all humanity. But I... I'm still so weak. Compared to the Mother Vestal, I lack in everything. I could not stop the dark from swallowing up the crystal. I cost those women their lives. And all the world's people, kings and commoners alike, their eyes bore into me. Whether in expectation or disappointment, the weight is crushing. My shoulders are not broad enough to bear the weight of it. The hopes and fears of an army of strangers I've never so much as seen before. They frighten me. I am unfit to show them the way forward. I barely trust my legs to carry myself alone. But they have. Despite the blame and fear, you fought this far for the world and its people. Your fight you is a noble one, just no. and right, no. and beyond any reproach. But now the time has come to set others upon that path, guide them to follow in your steps. Just as the Vestals have ever drawn upon the crystal's light to illuminate the way forward for all mankind, so must you. Words are powerful things, my child. The Vestals' words doubly so. They are a force capable of driving man to action. I should really just have the camera on the cat. In times of need. You've walked your path for humanity's sake. Your love of this world has been your fuel. Now let your words be theirs. Share your path with them. They'll decide for themselves whether to follow or not. The world will choose as it may. But if you open your heart and point the way, you'll ignite a spark of hope within the hearts of countless men and women. Hope? Huh? You sound like Tis. Oh, already begun lighting those sparks, have you? <laughs> You'll reach them, child. Speak, and your words will find a home. Then I had best choose them wisely. Yep, you just buy that whole conversation. What a good friend you are. That's what friends do. Oh, you look marvelous! Excellent. Hmm, I knew it. You're every bit the wonder I imagined. It really suits you, on yes? Whether it suits me or not is of little importance. These vestments are a tool, and their purpose strictly ritual. But, thank you. Phew! <laughs> a night's work feels like seven at my age. Thanks, old man. I thank you for your sacrifice, Sage. Your efforts will see the winds return. If you really cared to thank me, you'd plant a kiss on my cheek. Oh, you're shameless. Is that another tradition surrounding the creation of the Vestal Gar? Oh my gosh, Anya's no, don't. No, it's the sad fantasy of a lecherous little toy. Idiot, you're being slightly too harsh. What? Unacceptable. Anya's, you're being too naive. <laughs> A firm touch. Come back any time you need of me. I'll do all I'm able. Ah, uh, he's not that bad. Now, back to the temple. What he said. Ring a bell's reconnaissance. Just a moment, Tiz. Huh? What is it? 
Hmm? Something wrong? Nothing at all. This is a matter between men, my dear. Uh-huh. Now, where was I? Ah, tis! Yeah, that's exactly where you were. You, you were saying his name. Last night, I chanced to awaken and notice you and Agnes's... And Agnes were absent from your beds. What's more, you took your time coming back. Anything you'd care to confess, old chap? Just what trouble does a stick in the mud like you get up to? Well, that's none of your business, sir. Oh, come on, out with it. All of it. Every last sordid, juicy, scandalous morsel. Out! I woke up and saw she wasn't in her bed? Yes, yes, then what? I got out of bed to look for her? Right, right, sensible enough. Go on, get to the good part. I heard a sewing machine running, so I went to the sage's workspace and found them talking. What? Talk about a turn for the boring. He listened to what was on her mind and offered her some advice. I promised myself I'd do a better job of helping her, too. Uh, yes, alright. So is that it, then? That's it. I don't know what you were expecting. We were only gone for, like, 15 minutes. And besides, why were you up? Hmm? Me? Uh, well, uh, you know. Anyway, I ended it off after a few minutes of watching Adia sleep. Yeah. Alright, enough whispering. Just what is it you with you two? Come on. Spit it out. Uh, nothing at all, as I said, it is. <laughs> right. Well, that's enough for today, I think. Um, next time, we'll all already be back where I need to be for plot. So I will see you then. Live long and prosper, nerds. Boy, 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 boy.